hello friends welcome back to our channel yes teacher so in today's video we will see how we can use a uh, razor pay payment gateway in asp.net core 8 so asp.net core 8 is the latest framework so we will see how we can implement the payment gateway there so you have to sign up with uh, your gmail or you can create a new account on razor pay and uh, then you have to click on the accounts and settings button here and there you have to click on the api key and here uh, you can generate your api key from clicking this button and it will provide you two values one will be the key id and then will be the key secret so you will need those in the code part so you can pick those from here uh, now one more thing we will see is that the currently uh, there is one transaction there okay and now we will perform another transaction and we will see also see the code there okay uh, so guys first thing that we will do in this case is we have to create one form uh, for getting the user detail that we are uh, trying to get payment from and uh, then we have to also add the amount here so I will show you how the uh, UI will look like so we will just run the application so in the meantime we will see the code also so when someone will post the amount and the data and they will click on the submit button so it will go to process request order um, action and that is available in the payment controller so we will provide you the code so don't you worry about the code part so i am just explaining the uh, steps and how it is working um, so on this controller guys um, we have created this method here and now if you go inside this we have this method here which we have created for the reserve pay payment and also we have this reserve pay client package here so we will see the version that we are using so i will go to the uh, i have to actually stop the execution for that so i will just stop it and we will go to the nugget packages and here is the package that we are using for because this is dotnet core 8 version so we will be installing razorpay.core now again i will just run the application and then we will see how it will work so in the code part in this process order method we have used the key and secret that i just explained uh, from where you can get those and here we are creating a random transaction id so you can check that and we are adding the currency here and then we are creating a order here and then we are creating one merchant order that we will return from here so the process for accepting the card or upi or anything that will be done on the client side so from here we will just create a order like how much amount we have to get from them and then we will return this object uh, on the form so this is the first form that we have and here i will fill the details so i will just add some random details here and now we will add 23 amount here and then we will click on submit so now you see here we are creating this order and with the keys and then the amount also here and the currency also here so we are creating this order object and then we are having all the data in this object and we are uh, returning that uh, on the payment view so now payment view is here you can see and on this we have this client side code uh, which will get the keys and amount and currency and everything that we need here and then it will open a client head pop-up for accepting the payment and after the 
response is received we will uh, click on this button and it will complete the order okay so now first we will see the working so we will just say continue so this is the pop-up that is client side and here we have to click on card and we need the card okay so for card details you can um, go to uh, google and search for razor pay test card and here it will show you the uh, demo of card number so we will copy that and we will paste it here then we can put any expiry date here so that will work and any random CVV will also work so on clicking the pay now uh, it will process in the production environment but here they just have this demo so they are uh, asking us to check the success response then we can click on success and here it says payment successful and then uh, it will be going on this complete order process action here and in this if you go inside this uh, so we will go to the request and then the f mm, not the form actually okay so we will just okay so it says payment message captured now we will again try to go inside that and request and form here so here form has three values and one is the order id and the payment id is there so you can use those id if you need it then uh, that means that we have uh, order created successfully uh, now it is also returning the payment message what is the payment message so we will also see the complete order process here uh, so we are uh, calling this capture api here uh, with the order id and everything that we get from that uh, and we are capturing this payment here so that is returning the captured response so that means payment is successful so now we will go on the razor pay and so last transaction that you noticed was uh, 11 and there was only one of that so now you can see there is one more transaction and here is the 23 amount that we just added so that is also captured so payment has been completed here so you can see payment created payment captured and authorized so everything is completed here now this is how you can implement the reserve pay in uh, asp.net core 8 so one more thing that we have to do here is we have to add this uh, payment service and uh, contact accessor here now you don't need the payment service or everything you can put the code directly on the controller if you want uh, now if you need the code part then we will provide you a direct link of that now if you don't have the link then what you can do is you can go to our uh, website here so this is uh, our official website and here if you will search for razor pay then uh, you will see few of these so here it says integrate razor pay payment gateway in asp.net core 8.0 so you will see that and we will give you a direct link and if this work for you then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel uh, so here is the complete code that we just seen in the video with all the needed steps uh, so you can check out these and also all the steps that we performed you can also download the code from here so that is available so thank you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue with this so thank you